Hey, what up, y'all? What it is, what it be, what it do, though? I am driving, obviously, heading to a client. And you know me and my thinking while I drive. So I'm gonna pose this question to you and see what you think. You hear a lot of people referring to the bot weapon setup, like the Butch Treb, the Fury Treb, the Fury Zeus, the Fury uh, Trident, the Fury the Fury Norica, not the Norica, uh, Nashorn, Kang Day, the Gecko, uh, really the Gecko Leo with the tri uh, uh, Treb, the Gecko Gepard, and the Gecko Patton. Those being sniper bots. I quote, sniper bot. But what do you think is the best sniper bot combination? People would say, probably the Butch Treb, of course, if they're leveled up, they do max amount of damage. And you're absolutely correct. The Gecko, they do awesome amount of damage. Yes, you're absolutely correct. And the Zeus, yes, you're absolutely correct. But being a sniper means you're you're concealed. Your direction or your or your uh, target is unknown. Your origin, where you're shooting from, is unknown. So you're essentially you're hidden somewhere on the map. Is that possible with the Treb or the Gecko or the Zeus? Hmm. I don't think so. Because the first thing that I do, as soon as I drop into the map, usually, and as you know in watching my videos, I don't drop in right away. I wait to see if I can see who and what is on the other side of the map. And then I make my choice accordingly to which bot I'm gonna run. Because if we're wide open, uh, what is that, uh, Canyon or Springfield? I think it's Springfield. Or Yamatau? Actually, it's not Yamatau as much. But if we're spawning in the wide open, our spawn point and your spawn point are wide in the open, why would I drop into my my little squishy bot when I see three butch trebs or patent geckos on the other side of the field? You know I'm gonna lose half my health. If not, I'm gonna lose my bot. Nah, sucker. Nah, nah. It ain't going down that way. I'm gonna drop into my Galahad or my Lance or something with a shield. So to give me a fighting chance to be able to take them fools down. A fighting chance. So if you're in a sniper bot, would it behoove you to be in something less conspicuous? conspicuous? I can actually, I, I cannot purposely butcher that word. Absolutely inconspicuous. That's a better way. Not in minimus. <laughs> to be inconspicuous, to be incognito, to be blending in. Because most of the rounds that you see being dropped or being thrown left and right, forward and back, being received are kinetic weapons or missiles. Kinetic weapons being like machine guns, right? I think that's the way that they're uh, describing them. Mollets, punishers, tempests, and then you have freaking, oh, excuse me, uh, the rockets, the, t the pins, the Columbuses, all that stuff. So, would it behoove you to run something inconspicuous or incognito that blends in with those rounds, like the Kang Day or the Nashorn? I don't know. I wonder what your thoughts are, but I actually know what my thoughts are. <laughs> oh, shizzle my nizzle. D-O double dizzle. Baby! All right. It's actually kind of gloomy outside. 
It's like a good day for a weepathon. A weepathon. <laughs> a pre cry cry. Uh, Dane Cook, that's who said it. Dane Cook. Sometimes you just need to cry. You just need a good cry. You've been feeling that that burden on your shoulder, that that stress. And it taps you on the shoulder and it says, "I'm life." And you're gonna cry today. You're gonna have a good cry. And then you have that pre cry cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right y'all i'll see you on my i'm gonna be posting a video tonight so uh yeah let me know what you think about the best sniper the real sniper bot weapon combination so i'll talk to you soon y'all and i hope you're all having a great day